Okay, we're having a problem with the VAP in this here Trollson again. I've got an VAP coil here that I uh, pulled out of a reach-in cooler. Those of you that have been following some of my stuff, you've seen that uh, Trollson cooler I've got here, and it's kind of a test mule. I did find one leak in the coil right back here, which I figured was probably an acid leak uh, from keeping salads in. And that pretty much tells the end of the coil uh, because it'll start leaking other places. Well, I did fix that one uh, while I'll see if it'll work. And it worked for a while and then it leaked out again. And I just kind of wanted to show you where the leak actually is in this thing. There were actually two leaks, one that I fixed and one that I didn't. Okay, you can see it now. It's right there. This one actually will stop leaking when it gets down to about 100 pounds. It's a little bit odd that it's leaking there. Usually those uh, Silfos joints don't leak once they're sealed. But I notice there's a lot of, almost looks like corrosion there on that uh, pipe. And it might be some of the corrosion got into the braze. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to fix it and we'll, we'll put this thing going again. As you look at this valve, this place here where it's leaking is probably the least, <laughs> the, the place I would probably not have been leaking. This thing has got rust here. I don't know why that hasn't rusted through. Uh, I mean, the valve needs to be replaced. It's not going to get replaced. This is just a test mule, but uh, there's a lot of corrosion here on the body. It, kind of interesting that uh, that's where it started leaking. Anyway, that's where it is, and I'll be fixing it and putting it back in. Just wanted to give you another view of this. After I sanded this off, you can see the pitting all through here where that thing has uh, whatever was in this thing definitely was not real good for copper because it has actually done a lot of corrosion of the copper and you can see I got a little over aggressive with the torch wasn't paying attention to what I was doing punched a hole right in the tube think I can fix it Yeah, sorry about the focus on that thing. Uh, oh well, I guess I can blame the camera for it. Uh, we'll see how it comes out when it's done. Well, looks like heck. Let's see if it's sealed. Okay, we're up to 175 pounds. <laughs> Doesn't leak. Not recommended repair, but you know, if you get in trouble, sometimes that's something you can do. And it does actually work. It's probably pretty permanent too. Anyway, that's it on the repair on this coil. Second time around.
I don't care, we got the happy trollison working. 37 degrees. For those of you that are interested, that's gonna be my beer wart cooler. I'm starting to do a little uh, home brew. I'll kinda keep you posted on what I'm doing.